Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat, and welcome back to a new map change video. Yesterday, I covered the majority of major map changes within the version 7.2 update. Now, I also do have some more map changes, which I can add on to it. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing that for you guys. But before we dig too deep into this video, I wanna give a shout out to everybody on screen who has been using my supporter credit code. This seems to be a regular thing I do throughout my storyline and map change videos, and some other random ones as well. So if you guys wanna gain a chance of gaining a shout out in one of these videos, remember to go and use my support grade postbox pat in your fortnite item shop tweet me at postbox pat or message me in my discord support creator section and you'll be sure to get a shout out or have a chance of getting one in one of these upcoming videos near enough sure guaranteed because I don't get that many people doing it and the people that do do it usually are guaranteed a shout out so let's go over this and show you guys exactly where these map changes are so the first one which I missed entirely in yesterday's video was this new statue here which to me looks like the female version of the male statue and what makes me think that is just because of it looks like it's wearing a skirt I'm not 100% sure on it though I can't guarantee it and it also looks like it may have longer hair on the back if that is meant to be hair so I guess I can't assume it's a female version but a lot of people on Twitter are saying that so I guess I'm going to class it as that due to what people are saying but yeah this is a really nice design I really do like this again pointing towards Polar Peak in that direction or pointing towards the Viking village with this one whereas the other statue which was located over there which to me could be the male version could be what well, was pointing towards polar peak at one stage so a brand new statue which has been added in i guess this statue is possibly going to be something to do with maybe an upcoming challenge or something we don't 100 percent know just yet but i'm sure we'll find out in the next few weeks to come because we have this statue here and we also have the other statue which is located over here and then potentially we'll probably get a third one and it'll be like a challenge like searching between the free stone statues or something we may even get a third one stood somewhere like on this hill here perfect spot for it here or maybe even one of these hills over here where there's some empty space where they could fit a statue maybe on this hill I guess you could have three statues nicely looking over each other and that could be a challenge that we could get maybe in week 10 or something like that or later on in maybe even season 8 so let's jump into another map change which a few people were sending me now I'm not 100% sure if this is a map change I personally don't think it is but I thought I'd show it you guys anyway there's a map on top of this table inside of this cabin here which is located on the far side side of Wailing Woods closest to the block. This map change here, I guess it's not really a map change, but it's something interesting because it actually shows a map on this little table here. I'm not 100% sure if this originally was here. It may have been, I may have covered this in the previous video, but I guess a few people have been tweeting me it, so I thought, you know what, I'll just put it in just to make sure you guys can check it out. So you have that right there, which is pretty cool. And I did really like that. Also, I did cover the block in yesterday's video but i thought i'd just take a little look at it again for a few like seconds or so just because it's a really nice design i just want to really appreciate this block before it gets taken out of the game i personally have landed here a few times and i'm really enjoying it i think it was just so clever the design the way things fall off and stuff like that but i don't want to spend too long at the block so let's move on out of here and head over to polar peak where the next map changes are at now there's something that's really interesting guys now i think definitely what i found at polar peak right now is interesting i didn't really look into it enough in yesterday's map change video i kind of just rushed it because there was a lot of map changes to go over with the tilted ones and stuff like that but you know inside of polar peak there's a few things which i've noticed which are worth a mention in the basement because this is technically i guess it's technically a map change because originally these weren't here even though they were in the files so we actually revealed a few extra things which originally weren't here so we've got this brand new shield which looks like black knight shield but has the ice king's marks on very nice and i hope this does get added in as a bat bling in the future i really do like that and then the same on the other side as well also if we keep going around where the ice is melting we've also got these new kind of things added in here i'm not 100 sure what these are to me they look like some sort of training system but yeah that's what we've got added in there and if we keep going around this side we can now see that the iceberg is almost fully melted so this is pretty interesting and pretty cool to finally get that feel that we're almost there guys it's almost fully melted only a few more days left and eventually it'll be gone so i don't know how many days exactly maybe a week or so or two weeks but hopefully the ice will soon melt up and reveal the entire place but that's everything for inside polar peak i did also mention in my storyline video something related to the wizards which i'd recommend going to check out it's actually this little book up here on this top floor actually is the same globe or whatever you want to call it that little globe type ball thing as the one outside just flowing in the air there and the final map change which i have for you guys in today's video is actually located on the little island over here and after this i'm just going to show you guys a few concepts that we need in the next update and potentially some future map changes but here we can see 
that the bunker has officially been revealed. Very interesting to see the countdown on this get revealed very quickly. I know a few people were saying it could take two to three days, but by the looks of it, it popped yesterday. I do have some footage of this on screen for you guys right now. The credit for this one will be linked down below. It's a mobile user, so the graphics aren't the best, but you can actually see the iceberg pop live. Now from theories around, people were actually saying the more people that hit the iceberg, the more damage it takes globally. So it was like a global asset, and the more you hit it, the more damage it takes and it pops. And there we are, we have it. It has officially opened up. Now inside of this bunker, there isn't actually anything other than a empty area, but I guess it's like the Whaling Woods bunker, but now we have one on the icy side of the map, which is in the exact opposite corner from Whaling Woods. Obviously the Whaling Woods one isn't on the edge of the map, it's inside Whaling Woods in the coordinate I3 there. But now we're in the coordinate, I guess this bunker is in, let's have a look exactly where it is, we can have a look on our map. I guess it's in C10, so pretty interesting stuff right there guys. Maybe you could come up with a theory relating to that. Now, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you are new to the channel, do remember to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. It would be awesome if you guys could stay tuned for daily Fortnite content and join me on my adventure to half a million subscribers. That's my next goal and hopefully we can hit that as soon as possible. Obviously, it's a long goal and it could take a year or so, but to keep producing content for you guys and hopefully we get as new, many new people as possible joining me on the adventure. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And once again, this is Postbox Bat signing out.